Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox game development tutorial. And today, we're going to be working on beginning our 2D platform game in Roblox GUIs. Now, today, we're not actually going to really make any player uh, thing, we're not going to really make the player move. Uh, we're actually just going to be coming up with the logic of the game. Like, eh, heck, we're not even coming up with that much of the logic. Um, this project will probably take us, oh, I don't know, two weeks, three weeks. I don't know exactly how long, uh, but be ready to be in for the long haul. Uh, and depending on your likes and your comments, it could be longer, it could be shorter. Depending on what you guys want, we'll diver, uh, change how long and how in-depth and how far we go with making this game. So please like this video if you want to make this a longer period of time working on our game. Now first step is going to be going to the storage UI and just get rid of that screen UI there. We don't need it. Next, let's add another screen UI. We're not going to do too much with GUIs today, uh, but we want to at least get ourselves started. And let's just rename this screen UI, I don't know, mm, game. Uh, not game, because that's sort of a keyword and might get confusing. Uh, 2D game. Let's name it 2D game so it's not too confusing for you guys. So, 2D game is going to be a new... It's going to be where we hold our GUIs for everything. Now, this game, with what I have right now, you guys commenting, liking, stuff like that, uh, will change what the game does possibly, but... The underlying logic that we're going to talk about today will remain the same. So please comment on what you would like to do with the game, uh, what you would like to learn from this experience, and I would be glad to teach it. However, today we're just going to work with making the idea of how are we going to assort, how are we going to know what is platforms that we can't touch, and how are we going to know what's enemies, how are we going to know what's a power-up or a coin, and how are we going to know what the player is. There's a lot of ways we could do this, but what I want to do is I want to basically have different, not exactly frames per se, um, but if you go into a storage UI, and let's go over to basic objects here, uh, you can see, and you know what, let me make it a little bit of a smaller, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop freaking out on me here, Roblox. Let's just make it a bit of a smaller box so you guys can see it uh, easier. So, we've got all kinds of stuff we can put into a screen GUI, uh, like our 2D game here. But what if what if all of this are we going to use to assort everything? What can we put in there that won't necessarily get in the way, but we can still use it? Well... Most of this would get a little bit in the way, or just take too much time for Roblox to render and stuff. Uh, we could use a frame and everything that would work, but it'd be hard. We could put another screen GUI. Actually, we can't put another. Oh, yeah, we can. We could put another screen GUI, which is a good option, or we could use a value. Now, what I want to do is I want to use a number value. I or int value actually would be better. And why do I want to do that? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Second screen glitch. Alright, there we go. Why do I want to use an int value? Uh, so we can actually keep count a little bit of different things. I uh, just make life a little easier. And int values are really quick for Roblox to worry about. Um, so we're going to name this int value. As I know we're already at five minutes and we've done nothing. I'm sorry. Well, once I edit, we won't be, but, eh. Anyway, uh, so, value, let's name this villain, and eh, no, let's just name it enemies, uh, make it easier on ourselves. Let's actually not capitalize it. Um, oops, didn't mean to do that. Ah, eh, stop, get, no, stop, go. Uh, we'll name this, uh, platforms, there we go. And one more thing we want to do. power-ups, boom, and that should be good 
Now, we could put another one for the player, but the player won't really be in an int value because there's only going to be one player when we make this, so we don't really have to worry about him right now. What we do need to do is probably make our frame, actually, and put all of these inside of our frame here. And um, I can make the Explorer a little bigger. And let's just... And I'll put smaller. And let's just name this frame... Um, window. Simple. Alright, so that's going to be our window to show everything in. And let's just expand the window size to be the entire screen starting from the top left corner. Oops. Delete one. There we go. Uh, so we aren't going to do anything more today. We've come up with a little bit of the logic. Probably not learned much uh, today. I'm sorry. But I don't want to give you guys a super long tutorial that's super confusing. I'd like you guys to kind of mull over, think about, hmm, what would I like to see done in this new project we're starting? What would be cool to do on this video series? Just tell me. I'd love to do it with you guys. I'd love to show it. So, just comment in the uh, comments below, obviously. Tell me, like or dislike, to decide how long this series should be. Alright. So, Till tomorrow, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Please hit the like or even the dislike button. And I will catch you guys later.